All right, YouTube, this is Detroit's HPTV coming at you with another one. I really thought I was done for the day. And then I seen that Charles Barkley and Gail went live again for damage control. But even in their damage control, he doubles down. They so disconnected from black people and from reality. That democratic plantation has to be a real mind screw because he comes out and apologizes i showed you in a video earlier today and that video is doing numbers where he came out and he was against biden now his handlers got to send him back out there charles is just a mess up he a screw up they sent him back out there to clean it up he cleaned it up then he come back out and double down this shows you how these democratic slaves and bootlegs are so out of touch with the American public. He just cleaned it up. Now look what he comes out and say. This is for fair use under the 1976 Copyright Act for commenting and educational purposes. This guy, idiot. Show. Do you remember, dear, what you said? I do remember what I said. Okay, we'll rotate. If I see a black person walking around with Trump mugs, tell them I'll punch him in the face. Charles. I know, Gil. Charles. Gil, 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 you, I... you really can't. Did you see how that started? Almost like a humiliated ritual. What did you say? Like a kid. Like you checking a kid. What did you do? What did you say? What do you say? Thank you. What do you say? Excuse me. Like a kid. Look at this big old goofy. Because, yeah, A, you don't mean that. Oh, I mean that you, sincerely. But if you see somebody, a black person with a Donald Trump... Uh, I'm going to punch him right in the eye. I'm going to punch him in the face. I, 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 I promise you. <laughs> well, all that's going on in our community, you better not go around punching no black people. Because that would be a short career. I would bail you out. I would bail you out. You're not going to be my first call. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Now, you know, it's so funny because before I took this show, before we agreed, because Charles and I, we have to say this, neither one of us were looking for another job. And CNN called and they had this great idea, you and I together, which I thought was really fun. And people said, aren't you worried about things Charles would say? And I said to you, you're a grown ass man. You say exactly what you think and you take responsibility for everything you say. Yes. And so it's not like you just willy nilly say stuff for clickbait, right? I always, know, I always know the response. And uh, I always know how much gasoline I'm putting on the fire. Okay. Of course. So in that vein, that clip that you, you all just see, that you all just saw has been seen millions of times. And there have been quite a few articles written about it. And that's before we even get to the social media comments, which look a lot like this gentleman. He's very large. He's wearing a mugshot. Or he's wearing a mugshot of the T-shirt or photoshops of large men wearing the T-shirt that say, I hear Charles Barkley's looking for me. They all think that you were ready to run around punching people who vote for Donald Trump. Now, I know when you say that, that was just you making a point. That's not something you would literally do going around attacking people, right? Well, let me say, is this my camera right there? I want to make sure people can hear me. <laughs> yeah. Number one, obviously, I'm not going, going to go around punching random strangers in the <laughs> face, first and foremost. Secondly, people can vote for who they want, want to. to. Yeah. People can vote for who they want to. The point I was trying to make. There you go. No, the point I was making. I wasn't trying to make it. Okay. When Donald Trump compares his plight with that other black person, yes. that is what I had a problem with. Mm -hmm. Now I do want to say this. I want to make it perfectly clear. If you're wearing a black, if you're wearing a black, if you're a black person, and let me say this. Everybody like, share, and subscribe on this video, and let's tell uh, Charles Barkley. And the Democratic Shields like Roland Martin and the rest of these bootlegs. If y'all want to get physical, we can get physical. We the people can get physical. If y'all want to get physical, stop coming out here playing and disrespecting people based on their ability to assert their patriotism as Americans. If you want to get physical, Charles Barkley, the people of America will get physical 
with you. You keep trying to make us look like, like we dumb or like we don't see what's going on. You and Gail is played out. You the Oprah Epstein nefarious clique of wicked, demonic transgressors. If y'all want to get physical, people going to get physical with y'all. You stoking your own fires and poking a bear because clearly you are not on the side of God in, in, in country. You're not for God and country. So if you want to get physical, initiate it. You wearing a Donald Trump mugshot. You are a freaking idiot. And I'm only saying freaking idiot because they won't let me say what I really want to say. You the freaking idiot because you can't say what you want to say and you a grown man. You got more money than me and I can say what I want to say. Chump. Your name is not Charles. It's Chump. I can't say what I want to say. Then get your own podcast and say what you want to say and stand on your own bottom and go around here socking people like you said you was going to do. Stop being a weakling. You a big old chump. You a chump. I can't say what I want to say, so I'm going to say this. Who telling you you can't say what you want to say? You just admitted to being a man with handlers. Get off YouTube. But you can figure it out. It starts with an F. Mm -hmm. But you are. To f listen, people can vote for who they want, want to. to. Yeah. But to, 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 for him to compare his plight with that other. We don't need you weaklings. You Hollywood weirdos. You entertainment people to tell us nothing. You saying too much all the time. And now you really sneaky doubling down. Your Democratic handlers over there at CNN, man, they weak. The Patriots ain't taking nothing back. When last time you seen a Patriot apologize? When last time you seen a real American apologize for taking the position for God and country? This is pitiful. Africa, I don't even like that term. The black people in America yeah. is asinine and stupid. And like I said, you guys can put on those two short, two small. Hey, Charles, your mama, your mama, your mama is stupid. Didn't she raise you? Didn't she teach you what you know? Somebody tag him and tell him, your mama. T-shirts. Uh, like y'all got them on. Get a big size if you're gonna wear it. Don't put on a medium and act like you got muscles. <laughs> but you, they, that is so. It just that, that bothered that me. That irritates. That no, it didn't. No, it bothered me mm -hmm. because for him to compare a, a white billionaire, yes, who is in trouble because of stuff he did, yes, not because of stuff like black people get in trouble stuff that happened that hundreds of not, that that they did not deserve do. to do. Yes, but for him to compare do. that to black, you did you just hear that? Black people get in trouble because they deserve to. Look at these bootlets. They trying, they trying to bag it up. Please like, share, subscribe on this video and make sure other people get on their head. Bigger podcasts that got, you know, they got more reach. Man, expose these bootlets. Listen to them. They sitting there like black people is really doing anything other than ridiculing them and, and, and joking at them. They trending for all the wrong reasons. People's plight. Uh, that's just stupid on their part. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all got nails and boxes. If y'all gonna wear those te tight t-shirts around the house and somebody take pictures. Well, I do. I'll stick by what I said. If you... Ain't he the one that wore a dress? He wore a dress and he wore slave shackles. The footage is there. This boy here is a big old rodent. And a, a Trump mug shot around. You are a freaking idiot. But you, you are going to go just randomly attack people on the street. That's that's the uh, only uh, point uh, I want. Uh, unless to make. they had a Trump sneakers <laughs> on too. <laughs> unless they had a Trump. Gail, get a man. Stickers on too. Because now, if you got the mug shot, <laughs> okay, you, if you got the mug shot and the Trump stickers on, you are across over a line that you cannot get back. <laughs> well, they're three ninety nine. Some people say that's a good deal.
But I was trying to help you, and I said, you don't really mean that. You I'm not going to yes, go I around. Do. I'm trying to make the point, though. I'm not going to go around punching people. Yeah. We know you not. We know you not. We know you coward, niggardly, shameless Democrats. We know you not. You bootlicks out here doing the bidding of Biden with all the things that's going on in this country. We know you're not going to do anything. And you need to stop putting that out there. Because I don't think that the left can win against a good right hook. That's so that violence is never the answer. But yeah, it is sometimes. If you think Donald Trump is under under the same umbrella as black people, you're just stupid. Yeah. Uh, but you know what, Gail? We got bigger now. So we got we got to move on. We we, we had her on uh, last week. Yes. And. Uh, uh, yes, Nikki before, Haley. Before Super uh, Tuesday, we had her on. She she had a big announcement today. Okay. Let me put allegedly behind his mama. His mama is allegedly stupid. Allegedly, we're not sure that she's stupid. We can only base the intelligence by what she produced. You only know a tree by the fruit it bears. So it's allegedly until we confirm it. The time has now come to suspend my campaign. I said I wanted Americans to. Wasn't nobody going to vote for you? No way, Nikki Haley. You didn't have a chance. You're delusional. It seems like you've drunk some Democratic Kool Aid. Have their voices heard. I have done that. I have no regrets. So oh, many people were waiting to see if she was going to endorse Donald Trump, and she did not endorse him. Well, she should. So. She she, she, he, she insulted. She's been insulted. He he was racist toward her. I'm talking about her Indian heritage. Yeah. She's insulted his heart. She, her, her. Charles Barkley is pitiful. Please like, share, subscribe, and, and and talk about this video. And what talk about him in the comment? Listen to his conversation. This is a grown black man. He, I mean, like. They paying him to just be a buffoon. Husband, like I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, or whatever. You can't just you can't just go with party affiliation. I think everybody should be an independent. Yeah, uh, that's my personal opinion. I, but I'm this a, is the thing, though, Charles. Normally in politics, you know, you have the campaign, you dust it up. People say things they don't mean. But this the one they should have told to shut up and dribble. When the race is over, you normally say, okay, and I, now I'm going to endorse you. To her credit, people say she did not endorse him. And the, the big story today was, will she or won't she? And so far, what are where are Nikki Haley voters going to go? When she was here, you made it clear you wanted to vote for her. You yes. have some questions. Yes. So you would be one of those Nikki Haley voters who are now trying to figure out where to go. Well, the reason I, I appreciate her, you, her, his attacks on her were not... Uh, they were personal. personal yes. I don't mind somebody be, disagree with me on a certain subject, whether it's yeah, immigration yeah. Uh, and things like that, inflation, uh, things we really need to be talking about. But his attacks were personal. Mm -hmm. To go after her heritage, which is racist, mm -hmm. which is racist, mm -hmm. to talk about her husband who's actually serving something, something he ducked. That's why I would, that crosses the line. I have no problem with somebody disagreeing with me on a political issue. Right. But if you come at me personally, you can't expect yeah. me to bag, uh, yeah. get my support for you after the fact. Yeah, that's a different ball game. So now we have two candidates. It looks very much that it's going to be Donald Trump once again and Joe Biden, of course, who's our, our president currently. With those two choices, a lot of people have a lot of decisions to make. Yeah, I, you know. What, if, are you, what are you thinking? Well, I'm going to have to go with President Biden personally. Mm -hmm. uh, I was looking for another choice. I made a video early today. Well, he said something totally different earlier. Earlier, he said Biden makes promises that, that he doesn't deliver on. Can you see the lies? I mean, look how do and Gail just sits there. She just sits there like the tool she is. Oh, and. Oh, I'm just going to have to. Don't nobody care who y'all vote with. We already know what side y'all are on. Stay over there. We don't want y'all wickedness. 
your evil. We see you clearly. Charles is bought and paid for. Gil, you been bought. Oprah paid for you. That's a whole nother issue in our community. We know Oprah paid for you. And for you to sit up here, he just, why did y'all just leave it alone? He comes back and he doubles down. It's called people idiot. And clearly we see that you guys is idiots. Y'all are clearly idiots. Because y'all think that the masses of black people in the community and neighborhoods actually respect your opinion. Well, I'm going to respect the hustle. Y'all getting paid by the Democrats and y'all ain't really doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, President Trump, number one, he doesn't carry himself like a political leader. Uh, uh, that's my first and foremost. I do think President Biden, I, I, I have a really serious issue with his age. Mm -hmm. I said that from the beginning. I have a real serious issue with his age. But I got two choices. And uh, President, but you're definitely going to vote, right? Everybody yeah. should vote. I, everybody I should vote. I, I think it's, like, you know, people vote. have died in our history for us to have the right to vote. Everybody yeah. should vote. I and agree. everybody can vote for who they want. Nobody died so we could vote. People may have been took out. Say what y'all mean on here. This is one of the weakest attempts at having a podcast from these Hollywood types that you've ever seen. They can't make it out here in, on the YouTube streets with the people. We the people control YouTube. Not MSNBC, not CNN. Y'all need to go back to the television that nobody watches. But we all have our own decisions to make. And like right now, I, I don't know if anything's going to happen uh, with, with Michelle Obama or Garrett, Garrett, New, Garrett Newsom. But right now, I'm probably going to uh, lean into heavily toward President yeah, Gavin Biden. Newsom. Yeah, yeah, Gavin Newsom. He keeps saying he's not going to run. You really think we want Michelle Obama? Guess what? That y'all don't even know. If you if if Michelle Obama was to win, I mean or run, no women would vote for her. Only a few, definitely no white women, definitely no white men, and definitely no black men. How could she win? She knows that there's only a Democratic cabal that puts her up there. Like she's the queen of the ghetto. You know what I mean? You know, because she's from O Block and she married uh whatever Barack Obama was. Yeah, let Michelle Obama run and see what happens. She'd be like Hillary. Let her run. Yeah, get her up there. Y'all is really lost. We'll see, but he keeps saying he's not going to. No, Michelle it, Obama has made it. it Michelle Obama has made it very clear. No those way, two, no those, those two, those two would, She can't she win. Know, Gavin would get my vote immediately yeah. if they decided to run. Uh, it'd be would perfect. They? If, oh, easily. Gavin Newsom and Michelle Obama. Either one of those would get my vote immediately. Neither, the, neither one of them are going to run. But this is the thing: people always say the vote of you have to vote for somebody, and I do believe that. I believe you you can't just have this election and not vote and then complain about I it. I think this one is different because because I have voted. I voted for John Kasich, and I knew he couldn't win. Mm -hmm. But I think the disparity between these two candidates is extreme. Mm -hmm. They they are really extreme. So I'm probably not going to write in somebody, but I'm probably going to have to go with. President Biden. So check me out. I'm walking out. You just dis biting this morning. I know that your handlers is tired of pulling you in the office and telling you to correct something and you can't do it. You can't do it. You came out being insulting again. Then you turned around and said you're going to vote for Biden after you just said that he never delivers. Choose a struggle, Charles Barkley. The bank $6,400 richer, and that's because I just cashed. Charles Barkley's the one that should have told, shut up and just dribble, for sure. Do you see how quickly he changed the statement? Did y'all see my earlier video where he was talking about, oh, 
Biden don't deliver. Now he come back. I got to go for Biden. Man, they must keep calling Charles in office. My working people know. My working people know. They keep calling him in the office and say, man, you got to get it right. Clean it up. But he can't. He can't get out of his own way. And then he called other people dummies and stupid. Like, who raised you, Charles? How did you get so slow? Shout out to the salute to the Patriots. And I ain't talking about the ones out of Boston. I'm talking about the national ones. Sound to you out of Detroit. Like, share, and subscribe. Keep your head on the swivel. Peace.